Now then. The crystal. I'm guessing the way is locked. Well, I guess it's a good thing somebody has keys to the whole fortress. You're no better than a burglar. Aren't I? Where's that elevator? Hey, buddy, could you try to stick together? It's mine! The Emperor does seem kind of key on the ring. So we fight him? looking up. Let's see what we came for.
One hell of a hangar. <laughs> Look at all this space. So, the central elevator's through here. And out of the loading bay. Your Majesty, your precious crystal awaits you. To liven things up, I thought I'd take you on a stroll down memory lane. Of course, memories decay with time. What's left of him? Damn it. Keep him on. I'll keep both on him. That'll do.
Gladio.
A sorry end for the High Commander. For anyone. He was a man with hopes and dreams. Ugh. It's horrible. What kind of fiend makes demons of men? Look alive! Company! Hangar gate closing. Please stand clear. You better think fast. I don't envy you your decision. Closed. Don't die on me. Do you suppose your dear friends are still alive? Those who died for you, do you ever wonder what went through their minds? Can you even recall their final words? I'll come back for you all.
I swear. How far does this go? The crystal had better be here. Everyone's counting on it. Counting on me. Your journey is over, Noct. the likes of which you've seen. In Lucis lived a savior who could cure the afflicted. His body would come to host myriad demons, and countless lives be spared. But a jealous king, one not yet chosen by the crystal, ostracized and demonized this healer of the people, making a true monster of him. I gave you my name earlier, but you should know that it was not the name given to me at birth. Arden Lucis Kylum is my proper name. You'll never guess whose name this Unia was. No, killing you as a mortal will bring me scant satisfaction. Claim the crystal's power. Arise as its champion. Only once the crystal and king are no more, can I know redemption. Come back soon. I shall keep your friends company until you are Of the crystal, wherein lies the soul 
since awakened, the six have seen the coming of the prophesied hour. A time when the crystal shall have shed the entirety of its light unto the ring. Only then, once the sacred ring is replete, can the true king complete his ascension. And only by the true king's hand can the immortal accursed be banished and the light restored to this world. Umbra. Be waiting. In Hammerhead.
us I out. everywhere. Yeah. 
What is it, boy? Something's coming. A truck? Ah. Uh. Yeah? It's me, uh, Talkit. My grandpa served the Amasidia family. Talkit? Yeah. No way. Yes way. Welcome back, Your Majesty. Yes, sir. That's, that's right. Huh? Just a second. Um, said he wants to have a word with you. He can have it in person. He said you can have it in person. Okay, uh, we should be there shortly, sir. Wow, I can't tell you how good it is to see you again. Yeah, you sure look different though. You think so? Guess I've grown some these 10 years. Ten years. <laughs> the guys must be pinching themselves right now. Where are they anyway? Listalem, more often than not, but they take a lot of trips to Hammerhead. For? Uh, for Miss Cindy. You know, back at the garage. She's a tough one, but uh, when she needs a little extra muscle out on the road, she gives him a call. <sighs> oh, uh, speaking of which, the guys said they're near Hammerhead right now, so we'll be meeting them there. You know, ever since you disappeared, Your Majesty, it's been nothing but nighttime nonstop. Lestalem still has light thanks to the power plant, so just about everyone's taken refuge there. Only there? Everywhere else has been abandoned. Demons moved in, forcing the people to move out. People still swing by the garage at Hammerhead from time to time, but it usually isn't for repairs. These days it's less of a service station and more of a slayer station, a base for demon hunting. The garage is still open though, one of the few places that is. So, um, Sid, is he still alive and kicking? <laughs> He's kicking all right, just not as hard as before. He hasn't really been himself lately. At least, not since he moved out to Lestalem. Someone suggested he move the garage there, too, but old man Sid wasn't having it. He called it a big, fat, chocobo turd of an idea. Said it just wouldn't be the same anywhere else. 
That sounds like Sid, all right. Miss Cindy said she didn't mind either way, so the garage will probably stay put for a while. And without any tinkering to do, Ignis's gourmet seafood is about all Sid has left to look forward to. With all the demons prowling around, more folk were getting hurt. Or worse. So Iris talked the marshal into taking out the demons themselves. Iris the Demon Slayer, they call her. Gladio and the others, they lend him a hand whenever they can. Prompto spends most of his time hunting around Hammerhead. He tries to impress Miss Cindy, but she's already married to her work. And Ignis? He hunts too. We tried to stop him, but he wouldn't listen. He said, if anything, he's more used to the darkness than we are. Never got his vision back. I'm afraid not. But that being said, he gets by pretty well on his own. Gladio and Prompto usually hunt on their own as well. It isn't often you see the three of them together nowadays. They still work as a team every once in a while, but each has his own set of tasks to keep him busy. Is that so? We've arrived, Your Majesty. Everyone will be so happy to see you. Don't worry, I won't be going anywhere. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Hey, that's all you have to say for yourself after all this time? <laughs> Knocked! It's you! It's really Is you! It? I hadn't realized. Well, well. You kept us waiting. Not like I wanted to. We've got catching up to do. Let's head inside. Welcome. Come again.
Prompto's even capable of hunting alone these days. He really has come a long way. <laughs> Had to become a functioning adult sooner or later. Doesn't feel like you've changed, though. Not nearly as much as he claims. You gonna spoil my moment? <laughs> What's there to spoil? You know, even after all this time, you guys haven't changed a bit. Oh, not as individuals, perhaps, but we no longer need to ask one another for help in times of need. We've reached the point where that sort of synergy is second nature. <laughs> yeah, and it only took us ten years to get here. <laughs>